It looks like the uh, soccer player, female soccer player, Sam Kerr. Samantha Kerr has gotten herself in a little bit of a trouble. Uh, called um, a white so-and-so. Uh, <coughs> see it in the news. Um, but you've got to think these um, racial vilification laws that are crazy over there and not that great here don't really do anything for anyone. They just um, promote sort of a lot of racial conflict and ethnic conflict, which they are pretty much designed to do because um, they're a top-down elite. They're elite stuff and um, to promote a lot of um, racial and ethnic aggravation between the rest of the population. Uh, divide and conquer. So um, she hasn't done herself any favours. If they do apply the law properly, I suppose she's probably looking at jail time, but there'll probably be some shenanigans for you. Uh, brown paper bags, uh, Murray Farquhar style, and yeah... Or Al, what's his name within the Whitlam government? The guy used to wear the lime green suits and the like. Al Grasby, I think his name was. And of course, um, a lot of the Liberal Party people too. Um, like that uh, Andrew Bolt uh, thing a few years ago about the Aborigines. That wasn't real good either. Um not that I'm a fan of his, but um, it's uh, not real good. And it's doing what it's designed to do, um, which is um, divide and conquer people by ethnic and racial things and religious. Um, so they'll leave the elites alone. Classic tactic used over and over and over again. Andy Fleming mentioned that it's um, first use in Western Australia, I think, was... Um, against Aborigines, so th he opposed them on principle. Um, but the Antifa left, so-called left, um, these types uh, want to play the game too because they don't really want to challenge the establishment. They're getting lots of um, dollars from various establishment people and, um, uh, you know, like the Leibler brothers, of um, the voice infamy. Um, they were funding a lot of these so-called anti-racist groups back in the 90s when uh, Pauline Hansen came out in 1996. They were funneling a lot of money, um, these right-wing Zionists, very rich right-wing Zionists, um, were funneling, uh, Jabotinskis were funding, funneling money to these ostensibly left um, anti-racist groups. Um, I think it was Izzy Leibler, who was still here, and he's dead now, died a couple of years ago, I think. According to Wikipedia, about three or four years ago. Um, and Mark Leibler, Leibler, very dangerous. Uh, people promoting um, racial conflict for their own benefit. And <sighs> these Leibler guys are on TV all the time as well as the Jewish Board of Deputies people, uh, very right-wing Zionists, um, very elite, rich people, um, promoting this sort of stuff to create racial conflict. Classic uh, of ruling elites and bourgeois and uh, oligarchic um, imperialist uh, people <clears throat> play the population off against themselves. Um, the defining... Uh, tactic of empires and elites uh, bourgeoisie aristocracy to uh, just elites uh, play the people off uh, against one another and that's what they do and you just get, haven't got to fall for it you don't fall for it um, India, a person called India Willoughby has seen that thing transgender supposedly and um Rowling called um, this person a man. <clears throat> Misgendered, and that's a major crime, and it's going to be a police investigation over there because uh, they don't want to do any um, actual police work. <sighs> it's robberies and, you know, stabbings and 
all sorts of things that they have no interest in. And that um, plays to the elite hands too. They want the chaos. Um, they bring in the biometrics. Uh, Trump is going to bring in biometrics, and that's probably going to be a worldwide thing. There's probably going to be hundreds of billions or even trillions of dollars in it. And Musk, according to David Icke, um, whatever you think about him, I think he was, he's right. Whitney Webb wrote a thing about it. I haven't read it. Uh, they want the biometric surveillance in. They're going to plant um, all sorts of things, do all sorts of things. Facial recognition, all, all these things. All these things are going to uh, come about. And Trump's light leading it. Um, Anti-establishment renegade Donald Trump. Very dangerous people of the Trump supporters. They're leading everyone up, up the garden path with all their lies about Trump being some sort of anti-establishment renegade and it's complete garbage and nonsense and um, but they've convinced a lot of the low IQ sort of Trump supporters which is most of them um, that that is the case and it's not true and Musk is pushing this he'd have a lot of money he's probably um, going to invest a lot of money and make him a lot of money out of all this biometric surveillance worldwide because uh, that's when they'll bring it in worldwide Chinese, uh, Chinese style systems everywhere. Everywhere will be China. That's what uh, Justin Trudeau wants. It's what the WEF wants. Um, and a lot of people will be happy with it uh, because they're serfs. And, you know, so we've got to fight against uh, these silly uh, laws. Just abandon them. Uh, they're nonsense. They're not in intended to do what they claim on the packet. They just want to sow um, discord um, amongst the population. And um, same with the transgender stuff, misgendering, uh, nonsense. And Sam Kerr's, so that's nothing, isn't it? She vomited in the taxi. Make a big thing out of these uh, female sportsmen or sportswomen. And... Um, you know, that goes to their heads a bit, doesn't it? A bit like the the men. The men are worse, of course. <clears throat> but all of this is designed to entrap us. It's an entra it's a baby trap. Um, all the open border stuff, the border crisis manufactured, and <clears throat> the transgender stuff and the racial vilification stuff, it's all just decided that, designed to set us against one another to protect the elites so they can um, do what they want. We uh, have to fight against all of it. <clears throat>